So this is the split decisions answers that I came up with for June 14th. And the last one that I got, I had a problem with. Uh, so we'll go over it. But um, here you got splatter and squatter. Here you got skeptic and styptic. Here you've got pullet and piglet. Pullet is a, a hen that's less than a year old. Amply, amply and aptly. Thatch and Twitch, Colt and Clot, Row and Rye, Wife and Wake, Whopper and Rapper, Peon Porn, Raise Ruse, Sequence Sentence. I think that was the first one I got actually. Um, Stabile, Sterile, Police Pumice, Panda, Pansy, Sermon Salmon, uh, Conch Catch. Uh, cremate Climate, Ascot Asset, Tweet Tenant, Tenant, uh, Resemble Resettle, Sieve, Peeve, Extol Extra, Ten Pin Tendon, Confuse, Concise, um, Argon, The Gas, Wagon, Gamete, uh, Gamble, Gamble. That's not a word you see all the time, Gammy. Uh, example, examine, jelly, jerky, yawed and yoked, heard and hexed, destiny and destroy, egest and egret, save and soar, member and memoir, magnet and maggot, um, strategy and stratify, gas and bus, and uh, lays and lube, Spar and sour, and then this was the tough one here because this could have been a, a D, and I kept going for D, and then it could have been a K, but with reek and roof, but reek, I mean rook, but it's reef and roof, and then foregone and forgive. But here's the thing foregone, as in foregone conclusion, is spelled F O R E G O N E. And forego, spelled F-O-R, so this means like foregone conclusion as in something that precedes something. For, F-O-R-E, before. Forego is like something that is thrown away or lost or forgotten. So I don't know that the past participle of forego is for gone without an E. At least that's not my understanding of the of the English language. But um, I might be wrong, and if I am, please feel free to correct me in the comments below. Um, you know, if you feel like it, cite a source. But um, if this helped you, go ahead and like it, and uh, if you want more puzzle answers, subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Have a great day.